In our Minute Bible Fact Talk today, the question I'd like to consider in terms of Bible prophecy is where should our focus be in terms of the world? Where should our focus be in terms of the world? Has God given us a direction to look in terms of prophecy? In Zechariah 12 verse 2, the prophet predicted that at the time of the end, God says, Behold, I will make who? Jerusalem, a cup of drunkenness to all the surrounding peoples, when they lay siege against Judah and Jerusalem. And it shall happen in that day that I will make Jerusalem a heavy stone for all peoples. All who would heave it away will surely be cut to pieces, though all nations of the earth are gathered against it. Wow. Has it ever seemed strange to you that almost every night on the evening news, the eyes of the world focuses on a little country in the Middle East called Israel and on a small city called Jerusalem. Only recently has China, with its population of 1.2 billion people, gained attention on the international airwaves. But seldom does Mexico City, one of the largest population centers in the world, draw international attention. Singapore is also out of the news, although if it were you were to draw a 2,000 mile circle around the island of Singapore, you would encompass 50% of the world's population. These enormous centers of the world's population stay out of the news, but Israel and Jerusalem constantly fill the world's headlines. Why? Well, because of Bible prophecy. Dr. John Belvoid, a dean of all prophecy experts, has written, the pro prophecies about Jerusalem make it clear that the holy city will be in the center of world events in the end times. The conflict between Israel and the Palestinian will focus more and more attention on Jerusalem. In all these situations, Jerusalem is the city to watch, as the city of prophetic destiny prepares to act out her final role. The total world situation may be expected more and more to be cast into the mold that prophecy indicates. It seems that the stage and the actors are ready for the final drama in which Jerusalem will be the key. Wow. So in terms of world and Bible prophecy, although there are a number of things to watch out for, according to our Lord Jesus' teaching in the world, where is our focus to be as Christians? Well, this fascination with Israel, and in particular Jerusalem, making it the geographical center of the world is not accidental. It was predicted long ago. May God bless you as you watch.